Okay, so now we're in question number three. Okay, so a balloon contains 7.2 liters of helium. The pressure is reduced to 2.0 atms, and the balloon expands uh, to occupy a volume of 25.1 liters. So uh, what was the initial pressure? Okay, so okay, so now in here we need to understand uh, which is your P1 and your V1 and P2. Uh, and V2. So again, let me go ahead and show you the equation. So P1 uh, times V, the volume, the initial volume, uh, will equal to the, basically will equal to uh, the, the final pressure, which is P2, and the final volume, okay? So now what we're going to do is we need to figure out which was the ones and which ones are the twos. So a balloon contains 7.2 liters. So in here, um, it will be, that will be your liters, that will be your V1, 7.2 liters. Okay, so again, liters is the volume, and that will be your initial. Okay, now the pressure is reduced to uh, 2.0 atm, okay, and the balloon expands to occupy the volume of 25.1 liters, okay? And what was the initial pressure? So right off the bat in here, you're trying to solve for the initial pressure of the 7.2 liters. So, um, so the pressure P1 is the one we're trying to solve, where, uh, so that will be your question mark. Okay, and even if you get confused, think about it. These two are together. It's reduced and it's expanded to a volume of this much. So that has to be your P2, V2, okay? So um, in here, your 2.0 ATM, that will, be, um, that will be your P2, and the 25.1 liter, that will be your V2. So 2.0 ATM equals P2, and 25.1 liters equals your V2. Okay, so we're ready to set it up. So P1, which is the unknown, so we're going to leave it as a symbol, okay? And then your V1, and again, this is multiplied because they're right next to each other, so I'm going to put a parenthesis, and that will be your 7.2 liters, okay? And that equals, that equals to your P2, which is uh, your 2.0 atm atmospheric pressure, and then the volume will be your 25.1 liters, and liters is for volume, so that's your V2, okay? So uh, again, we need to isolate that variable, that one we need to solve, which is a P1. We need to leave it by itself on one side of the equal sign, okay? So this uh, 7.2, we got to move it on this side. So since multiply it, again, we're going to divide. Okay, we do the same thing to the other side. And then we cancel. And we are pr practically done. So it will be P1 and uh, 25.1 times 2.0. That would be, uh, that would be uh, 50.2. And then, of course, um, you know, as we multiply, we put those um, units together. And then you divide it by 7.2 liters. At this moment, I don't really care about the colors, okay? So um, so in here, P1 equals, um, so when, once we divide it, it will actually give you 6.97 ATM. Now, why just ATM? Because liters over liters, they cancel each other out. Okay, and you're just left with 18. And anyways, we're solving for pressure, so we're not, you know, leaders shouldn't be there, okay? It should be just atmospheric pressure, okay? So, uh, and if we round it, it would be 7 ATM. So just make sure your setup is correct in um, Schoology, and then, uh, and this is your answer, okay?